Much. We begin with New York City's plan, the new one, to use a, an historic hotel to house asylum seekers. The Roosevelt Hotel in Midtown has more than 1,000 rooms. It had to close during the pandemic. Now the city wants to use the building as it struggles to find housing for an influx of migrants. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore is there live at the Port Authority bus terminal a few blocks away where buses carrying migrants came in over the weekend. Crystal. Good morning, Michelle. Well, from Port Authority, the asylum seekers will head to this new arrival center, the first of its kind in the five boroughs, and it'll serve as a centralized intake center. Um, asylum seekers will be able to get legal, financial, medical, and placement services all under one roof. Now, the iconic Roosevelt Hotel will not only reopen as an arrival center, but the city's ninth humanitarian emergency response relief center. The hotel will open up 175 rooms for families later this week with plans to open an additional 675 rooms. The city is in crisis mode, struggling to find housing, weakening shelter-in-place rules in the process. Leaders have also had to bus migrants to the Hudson Valley, and we're also told some 300 migrants will be housed at the abandoned Hungerford School on Staten Island. One lawmaker we spoke with says he's upset with the lack of communication from Mayor Adams. This is a human tragedy. It's not that we're mad at the migrants. The migrants. This is a tragedy of the Biden administration, and this is the Eric Adams administration picking up, like I said, right where the failed de Blasio administration left off. These are people. These are human beings. And a spokesperson for the Adams administration says the city has received more than 4,200 asylum seekers this week alone, and they'll continue to communicate with local elected officials. For now